So, hello, good evening everyone. My name is Kanagat Stratsos and I welcome you to the start of, I hope that it will be one of the more interesting series that I will be uploading in due time and that's Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. So, um, a couple of things in advance. Um, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links is a game which I have started playing around three years ago, so I have a total of roughly over 300 days played in this game, so we will not start with the beginning. So we will start right out maybe in the middle. Second of all, I have already collected a lot of cards through opening pack, uh, packs and Cashing in uh, tickets, ultra rare, super rare, rare tickets. So yeah, this will be. We will stop right through the middle, but we will have some kind of a beginning into this series. So without further ado, let's jump right into the game. Um. Yeah, as you can see. Every time you come in, you have these announcements of events, packs, and so on and so forth. New cards released, and more or less that. Yeah, as you can see, my miss mission stage is level 34, so we are already really deep into this stage world stage so we have done a lot of things in the past 300 days but as you can see if I change the world and go maybe to the Dark Side of Dimensions for instance you can see that I haven't unlocked all the characters yet and I am on a very very low level in this case mission stage 8 so we will be more or less going through every single world to look at different characters and even unlocking characters and mainly in the UPO GX world where I haven't unlocked a lot of characters yet I'm all currently having only 5 characters who are free to use and another 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 Seven, eight characters that have to be unlocked. Um, but for the start of our series, we will go to the old world and we will take, in this case, our level one Rex Raptor, and with him, we will go through each various levels that you can see. As you can see, it goes to so level 45. I don't know if we will get to level 45 with Rex Raptor, but I'm really sure that we will vary and change the characters in due time. The first thing we will do though is, before we begin with Rex Raptor, we will get into Merrick and we will do an objective which is currently sitting at the bottom of the events missions and that is to get this car here where is it? there it is the Wind Dragon of Ra Prismatic Only, the only thing we have to do is to win against the Yami Yuki character while playing as Yami Marek. And to be honest, I will use this character to start and introducing my cards, my, my potential decks that I will use in this episode, and show you a little bit through the world. Um, as you you can see the world is divided into four sections. The first section is the main square where more or less the portal, which is one of the most important features that this game has. 
that can be found. You can change the portals and as you can see every portal has a character which you can slide through and choose so that you can face it and have a chance to get the cards listed in this case on the right side of the of the screen and we will be dueling against the opponents against the characters in the portal depending on what we have to do but as you can see I in this world I have unlocked every single character in this world's duelings and for duels to be even possible you have to collect gate keys and special gate keys which are attributed to each opponent black keys yellow keys, white keys, red keys and so on and so forth one thing that you can also do is that if you want to increase your chances to get a better price you have to change your multiplier so you can go to a maximum of times 3 multiplier to get the highest amount of chances to get a price but this is something we will not do right now and since we have shown you the gate now it's time to show you the PvP arena where you can more or less not only fight against basic opponents but you can also um, fight against other other opponents from the from around the world in this area and this arena and I think each month or each two or three months I don't know exactly there is an official KC Grand Tournament which you can see on the right side on top of the screen it is an official tournament of Duel Links which gathers opponents from all around the world who play against each other and collect points advance in levels and the top 100 are then chosen to go into a more advanced tournament so yeah this is the more official and uh, highly interactive part of the of the of the dueling swarm on the third slot maybe this is the i will call the resource the resource part mainly because this is the place where you can find the card store. The card store has basically the, all the necessities which you need for creating decks, buy items, and so on and so forth. One thing with uh, with Duel Links is that, as you can see here, you have gems. If you want to buy a pack of one of the 29 sets which are currently available, you have to spend 50 gems per pack. And the pack doesn't guarantee you that you get the card you need, so you have to go in great lengths and be very resourceful with your gems in order to get the cards you need for the deck but as you will see in the next few minutes there are some ways to slowly start with playing and doing things by having basic staple cards which can help you all the way and and give you a slight advantage and help you gather the experience points you need to level up and get more gems, more cards and so on and so forth. The events in Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Duelings sometimes also provide with skill tickets, which we will discuss in other episodes for now, it's not very important, and card tickets. Card tickets are here for you to choose a card of 
being here in the inventory which you might need for your deck. But I would advise you to choose them very wisely and to use them carefully because you never know with which deck you want to play with and you never know what uh, what comes out in the next days and which set comes out, boxes, expansions. So I would advise you to keep them and use them in, in, in the most efficient way possible. Okay, that out of the of the way we will commence with the deck building. So the fourth part as you saw right now this is the let's say the personal uh, the personal section of the Duel Links world which has everything you need to commence in the Duel Links a dueling as deck editor, card catalog, skill list, dual column, KC report, and your customization and summoning animation list. But for first, the, the skill list we will leave it for another time. But first, we will go to the deck editor, and now you will see all the characters popping out. Each character, the higher level you are, the more deck slots they have. As you can see, Miami Yugi is on a very high level, Joey as well, Maker Tsunami has three deck slots, Odin has three deck slots, and so on and so forth. You can see that the deck slots indicate the level of your character. But for now, we will concentrate on Merrick. Every character starts with a specific... So, now let's begin. Um, what we will do in order for us to get to the Wind Dragon of Rob Prismatic is... We have three options. We can build a slightly uh, weakened Gravekeeper stack. Slightly weakened with the fact that uh, I only have one Necro Valley in my possession. We can go full power um, Night Swarm, where I have uh, all the cards needed to build the deck. But we can also use decks like uh, Lunar Light, we can use decks like uh, Machina. We can use the gadgets, we can also go with Grand Marshal. But in this case, we will go with the Light Swan. And now we'll filter and go with Text Search and type in Light Swan. And with that, we'll save the deck. And commence with the duel. So, if you can remember the objective, the objective was to
Already in a very, very advantageous position to win duel. One thing that this deck is flowing is that, you, as you can see, we only have 11 cards in our decks from the 30 we were playing, so this deck can go empty really, really fast. So, it is a deck which needs to be watched over oftentimes so that you have a next turn against your opponent. Yeah, and since we have done the objective, we will now see the animation of Merrick getting the wing turn of her. Oh, maybe not. Okay, we got the Wind Dragon of Rockheart, and that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoy. Next, in the next episode, we will have a bit of a more in-depth analysis of each character, and I'll give you my tips and uh, inf instructions for how to get a quick, good and very very successful deck to play in duelings. So my name is Reinhard Statsis and I'll see you soon in the next episode. Bye bye.